Hello everybody, welcome to the Science Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Filter Morph by Four Pockets. Yes, yes, let's just find it here. So here we go, Filter Morph. So this, you're going to have a lot of fun with this. It's very, very cool. And it's very, very clever as well. So yeah, it's a filter, but it's also, uh, you can also modulate that filter with vibrato or panning. Uh, you've got a stereo delay as well to access the different areas. You can either press modulation here, which allows you to set up the modulation. So you can have it as a sine wave, slope, slope down, square or saw, or what it is going to be doing, vibrato or panning. Okay, to access the different areas, you can either press pads here like this, and this will take you to your, this is where you're going to spend the most time having a lot of fun. This is very, very, I've never seen anything quite like this. Okay, how this works. Anyway, and then if you swipe back down again, you get to the filter section. Swipe up, you can get to the pass that way. Swipe up again, you can get to the digital delay section. Okay, so this isn't just a standard filter. <clears throat> you have overdrive, you have big crusher, you have, obviously you have resonance and cutoff. But you have your stereo pan, your glide speed. This will all become apparent in a moment. Uh, your modulation level. At the moment, it's set to zero. Let's turn that up. Well, let's leave it on zero for a second. Then the speed of the modulation and the glide speed. So you have absolutely total control over how this thing works. Okay, so let's go. What we're going to do is we're going to apply some filter morph to this uh, standard hip hop kit inside Cubasis. Okay, so here's our mix. There's the Cubasis mix. And what we're going to do is you can set up how the filter sounds while it's open, it's closed. Like this, make this the mix comes up. Let's apply some overdrive. Make sure I'm not clipping. Now the cool thing is you can also morph between different types. So you have a low pass, high pass, band pass, and notch, and a formant filter. <clears throat> Some big crushing though. I'm going to turn the mix up a little bit more. Now here's where it's going to get very cool. We'll go into the the uh, the XY pad section. Now, if I just <coughs> excuse me, if I just touch this, you'll see that the when it's playing, it will just glide slowly up to its next place. hear the modulation come in but let's put the modulation to pan put some headphones on and square you'll hear that now much better modulation level full now this is the modulation speed so if we speed that up we're going to get it obviously it's going to be going faster and faster Okay, and that's where you can set it up, okay, as well. Further configuration of the pads. You can mess around with that when you get it. Right, let's do this. Follow, right? Watch this. This is so cool. It will just follow the pattern that I draw on the pads. Okay, it, it gets cooler and cooler, this thing does. So we can do the same, as long as we're on follow, we can do the same with the cutoff.
Okay. Now, at any time you're doing anything, let's speed. Like if if you, you think oh that's going too slow, like I said, you go back and you go to your glide speed. If we're on follow like this, we can pause at any time and it will stop both. Okay, let's take that back up there. Now, hold. This is where it's very, very cool beans. Watch this. What will happen now is it'll just bounce between points that I've selected. in the XY pads for the filter. Now, it gets even cooler when you start to use the sync to beat function. So let's hit sync to beat. See what's happening now. It's set to four beats for the cutoff here. So for pad one, and it's set for four beats for the modulation speed because it's now 10 synco so it's ignoring our set glide speed what we can do is change our beat so let's set this down to two now you see it's not quite reaching and if i go to one it's just gonna skip between each point every beat So we could say, let's set these all closer. Now let's hit release. So we clear this and we can release this as well. That's still set on four beats. We could set that one higher, say on eight. And it'll just stay there for eight beats and then it'll glide across. And then you could like use the modulation glide to have it quicker. So let's say for instance, we wanted to go modulation speed. Now we can start to bring in our digital delay. So much more than just a filter. And of course, you don't have to just use this with a with a with a drum pattern. So what what else do we get here? So we can go back, like I said, we can change. You've seen that we can change the way the modulation works. It's on still. Let's put it on vibrato. Take the tempo sync option off. Like I said, you can set it up however you like for all of these things. You can have it set to do the, the big crush or the Delay level. And the same with this one as well. You can set it up the modulation any way you like. <clears throat> it's 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 such a it's actually such a creative effect. Don't forget anytime you want to clear anything that you've got on there, you can just hit 
release and it will clear the pads up. See if we're controlling the bit plus with one of the modulation sources. So there you go. There it is. Filter Morph from Four Pockets. <clears throat> very, very, very creative effect. Lovely. Sounds great as well, of course. Now, like I said, you could use this with keys or like more percussion, drum, anything you like. Bass. And if, of course, you can be as subtle as you like, so you can just use it as you would a normal filter. But the fact that you get, the fact that you can morph between the filter types, that you can modulate everything that way, I think is very, very cool beans. Uh, I like it a lot. And also the, the sync to beat option is very cool as well. You play around setting the different pads to different times. <clears throat> so it'll hold, jump, hold, and it'll all be in perfect time. It's lovely. It's a beautiful thing. So next one I will be demoing will be the, uh, I think it's called Shredder. Let's have a look. Um, audio units here. Yes, Shredder uh, will be the next one we'll take a look at, which is like a, a, a it's a very cool gating, gating effect. That's another, of course, AUV3. Four Pockets have released an awful lot of uh, AUV3s recently, uh, all very, very good quality, of course. And uh, hopefully I'll get to review them all. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. There we go. Filter Morph from Four Pockets. Very nice it is indeed. Very creative. Very, very, very pleased with this effect. It's very cool. Anyway, that should give you an idea if it will work in your workflow, etc. You know, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Uh, please consider becoming a patron help support the sound test room for as little as a dollar a month. We can't survive without the support of the community. And if you possibly can, if you can't or you don't want to become a patron, please consider making a one-off donation. Uh, there are links below. And uh, yeah, brilliant. I will see you guys later. Ta-ta. Filter move. Oh, yes.